Welcome to RV Hour, powered by Giant Recreation World, an honest talk about the RV lifestyle, travel, costs, tips, and everything you need to know. Each week, we'll bring you the best and most helpful info, travel hacks, and answer your camping questions. Now, here's your host, Larry McNamara, CEO of Giant Recreation World. Episode 64. Here we go, RV Hour. This is Larry McNamara, CEO of Giant Recreation World. Dwayne Adams, co-host and producer. And we are here to talk about RVs. It's the RV Hour. RV accessories. That's right. So you think we're going to be able to get some shorts out of this thing, you know? Oh, yeah. Non-scripted, folks. This is all au natural. (laughs) Au natural. We're here for you guys. (laughs) Oh, oh, and two, I'd like to introduce a new uh, guest on our show. Okay. Hey Google. Activated. How how amazing are we? Autopilot. I don't think she heard She's you. She's not ready yet. We're still yeah. in the process. You know, it's a new prop. She's oh. nervous. <laughs> in case in case we hit one of those uh, junctions that we don't know what the heck we're talking about, we can ask Google. Yeah, it'll yeah. it'll tell us. Yeah, it'll let us know. Yeah. All right. So what do we got today? What is going on? So you know, in our little bag of tricks, we've got uh, some. Uh, Essential RV maintenance tasks that uh, every owner should uh, should know and do. Yeah, that's but right. I think I think before that, look what I'm going to do. I'm going to switch it. What up. you got? I'm switching. Woo! I like where you're going. Before we talk about some maintenance tasks and everything. Okay. I want to address uh, some of the common questions that I get from people out and about. Yes. Re- in re- reference to our RV warranty forever. I'm with you. I'm with you. That's why we're talking about it. Right. So. Uh, Right currently, it's uh, 2024. Correct. So we are uh, covering anything used that is a 2022 or newer. Or newer. Yeah. Shebang. So uh, now, of course, now uh, we have to do a full prep and make sure that it's worth. That's right. But uh, most of them are at that age, you know. Yeah, yeah. So uh, with that being said, and then all new we sell, motorhomes, trailers, pop-ups, doesn't matter. They all come with it at no cost to the consumer. That's right. Now, they say, are there any hooks or whatever? No, there's no hooks, except, and it's not a hook. It's not. You know, that's why I wanted to segue into that, things that you have to check on your, your RV every year. Yeah, that's pretty good. So, uh, to make sure that your your unit is staying fully maintained and ready, yeah. they require you to do a, an annual inspection at a certified RV repair center. Oh, there you go. So, All right. in other words, you don't have to bring it back to us. But most people do. You know why? Why is that? Because we give such a good deal on the inspection. Uh, yeah, it makes uh, sense. Yeah, it's a th- three ninety nine trailer, four ninety nine motorhome. That's right. And it comes with a whole lot of stuff we have to do. You know, the flat rate value of those is well over a thousand. So mm-hmm. again, most people do bring them back to us. Yeah, that's a fact. Right. But, it's uh, more, I think, having that extra looking over, having a specialty maintenance. Right. You know, it's, people ask, can we do it ourselves? No. No, it's not. It needs a. You have to be trained. Certified repair shop. Yeah. Trained professionals. Yes. There's a couple of them out there that'll actually do in park service for you to do those. Oh, okay. That's but, but those are certified repair guys. They're certified as well. Yeah. It is. So, is there a deductible? No. No. No deductible at all. So, uh, Basically, when when you uh, the warranty forever pays a hundred percent parts and labor costs anywhere in the USA anywhere you if go. it's a covered item right if it's one of the covered items right sir uh, that gives you a whole lot of peace of mind years on down the road that's right you know and I've said it before many times that uh, we're probably nearing the two million dollar mark for customers that have done wow. claims with them from giant recreation world customers only oh wow jeez yep. so it saved our customers a lot of money there you go you know i've seen them replace whole refrigerators i've seen them replace whole air conditioner wow yeah yeah so uh, again it pays for a lot and with that peace of mind i mean you just can't go wrong. yeah that's a fact which too just as a reminder this whole list we're looking over here is also on our website so it's not any hidden information no, that you couldn't sir. find as a consumer this is all available yeah. And uh, hey, if you don't like how uh, user friendly it is, tell Dwayne. <laughs> Send me an email. Right, yeah, we'll so, get you going. So uh, once the unit passes our inspection, only will it receive our the lifetime warranty. That's right. Uh, again, the fine print or the not so fine print, right? Yeah. These have the different, uh, it, it's more just what it goes into exactly. Yeah. It covers uh, all repairs to the covered components of the RV for as long as you own it. 
It is not transferable to another person. There you go. It, uh, you know, and uh, if you don't do the inspection, it just simply goes away. Yeah. That's something you got to- no longer valid. Yeah. You really have to keep up with that. And right. that is, that's the only thing that the consumer has to, to keep an eye on, short of that. That's right. So, uh, so they say, what's covered in it? What's you know, covered in nothing? this thing? No, it's a, a lot. A so, lot. Uh, quite a bit. <laughs> so let's talk about uh, suspension components, even though I- we usually undersell it in sales. Yeah. Say Ray, mainly it's just for uh, RV appliances. Right. But uh, this is what it covers. Suspension components, leaf and coil springs, okay. shackles and bushings, and rubber suspension springs. Oh, well, there you go. The rubber suspension springs. So those are like airbags. Yeah. So uh, boom. There you go. Uh, how about brake wheels. components? Covers the wheel cylinders, calipers, electric brake magnets, and hydraulic tubing and metal Fittings. Bam. I mean, I kind of imagine that stuff goes after a while. That's why it's constantly maintained. Right. Uh, the water system components, the hot water tank, the burner assembly, the yeah. thermostat, the thermal couple, Whoa. the gas valve, the electronic ignition assembly, the PC board, heating system, shower assembly, toilet, sink, holding tanks, gate valves, macerator pump, Water pump, faucets, traps, fittings, and water lines. Wow. Is that a little bit more than just applying? That is quite a bit there. How about the air conditioning component? That's a, it's bare. We do sell it short by just saying it co- covers the appliance. Well, we don't so. want to, uh, you know. Yeah, I guess sell too much. We don't want to oversell it. Yeah. You don't want to oversell uh, it. Because it's just a free, free perk that we give our customers. And I always tell them if you go ahead and purchase the extended service contract. Right. Also, uh, in addition to this, you have the, the one-two punch. It can't be beat. Yeah, it can't miss. Yeah. yeah. So uh, the air conditioner components, you've got the compressor, the evaporator, the condenser, capacitors, relays, expansion valve, control module, and panel, yeah. reversing valve, blower fan, and motor, and PC board. Coverage does not apply to motorhome chassis air conditioning. Wow. All right. That's why it says roof air. Yeah, roof air. All right. The uh, kitchen center components. You got the hey. uh, the range, the oven burner assembly, the burner valves, the refrigerator, freezer, microwave, convection oven, thermostat, hey, oh. thermocouple, burner, igniter, and PC board. I see why they just sell the appliances. That's right. That's it. Yep. LP gas system. You got the gas regulators, gas tanks, gas valves, tank gauges, and LP lines and fittings. Well, heating system, you got the furnace igniter, the burner assembly, the gas valve, the gas leak detector, the thermostat, the thermal couple, blower motor, and PC board. See, that's a big thing, the PC board. Yeah, the PC board. Right. Yeah. Uh, deluxe appliances included our ice maker, trash compactor, built-in coffee maker, Ooh. built-in food processor, in-sync disposal, ceiling fan motor, and smoke detector. Bam. And then you have some general interior and exterior components like door handles, latches, and springs. And last but not least, the manual leveling jacks. Factory or dealer installed, bolt-on, and welded scissor jack. Yeah, those are big. That's a whole lot of stuff. That is. What what it doesn't cover is damage, or if you get hit by lightning, or any any things like that. That's all stuff for your insurance. Yeah, yeah. uh, Different claim. Rust and all that, that doesn't cover any of that either. Yeah. Water leaks, nope. Because that's owner maintenance. That's all maintenance. Yeah. But uh, again, I wanted to hit that first before we go into what we recommend you do to uh, right. uh, to check out your RV all the time. Because I think these these tips and tricks would help you on a regular compared to when you're bringing it in for the maintenance Absolute. follow-up. Well, it'll keep you from having to bring it in. Oh, uh, there you go. Perfect dial, you know, perfect I like dial. It. I like it. Would you like to take the first one? So sure. I've been Let's... talking a lot. <laughs> Everybody loves to hear Larry, though. You hey, know. Google, do you think I've been talking a lot? Power down. <laughs> oh, she's, I'm sorry. She's not hooked up. Technical difficulty? Yes, but uh, that'll be there for us one day. I oh, yeah. guarantee it. I know it's listening anyway. Yeah, hey, <laughs> definitely oh. keep it track. Right. All right. So top 10 essential RV maintenance tasks every owner should know. Number one, the engine and transmission. Right. So, regular oil changes, fluid checks, and tune-ups are essential to maintain the engine and transmission performance. Yeah. That's a big one. I know our drivers uh, that that pick up units from uh, Indiana and take them back to us, uh-huh. 
uh, every time they get in one of our vehicles, they check the oil and the transmission fluid. Oh, yeah. Make sure that thing's ready to go. The windshield wiper fluid. Oh, that's huge. And they also check, if it's not hot, they check the uh, radiator. Oh, not at least the Make sure that has fluid. Oh, the reservoir in that has fluid. There you go. Damn right. I'm going to take this next one because it's Come important. On. This is a big one. I've, how many times have I talked about the tires? Huge. huge. The, most importantly, the tire pressure. You know, check your tread wear for weird, weird patterns, you know? Yeah. yeah. And uh, overall condition regularly to ensure safe driving and prevent blowouts. But oh, yeah. The, the tire pressure. If You have to check that, especially in Florida. We, you know, we, we have bits of cold. We have bits of hot that come and change in, yeah. as the day changes, especially this time of year. Mm-hmm. So uh, your, your tires can just lose air or or from the temperature. Yeah. Then you're losing gas mileage. All strain kind of on the engine. And then you get a blowout, and that's really a pain. Uh, it'll ruin your, your vacation. That will ruin the trip. It, you know. But, uh, yeah, make sure you check them. And also for uh, for sun, for su- like a dry rot. Dry rot spot. If you little cracks in it, time to get new tires. Oh, yeah, because that's a blowout for sure. Yeah, that's- you know, we have a, a policy. If it's if you buy an RV from us that's five years old uh, and or the tires are on it are five years old or older, uh-huh. we automatically replace them. Take it off. Take Unless it off. it's a wholesale unit, and then we don't. Bang. Spire beware, because those are as is, was is. If it breaks in half over the over the street, you own half, both halves. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> that was a good one. Yeah. <laughs> it got me there. <laughs> you want to take the brakes? I'll take the brakes. All right. All right. So the brakes here, brake pads, rotors, and brake fluid should be inspected and serviced to maintain proper braking functionality. Yeah, some of that can get in depth, so I would suggest maybe go to a shop for some of those things. Or yeah. our shop will do it for you. Yeah, that's not really something you should be changing out yourself. Right. There, the but brake like pads. like the uh, the the brake fluid, for instance. I know if it's if it's just sitting and sitting and sitting, you have yeah. to take a like a, a flathead screwdriver or a Phillips head screwdriver and just dip it in the uh, the fluid because there it'll get a scum or a uh, whatever yeah, on top, film on top, a film there. on the top. Yeah, yeah, and that'll take it right out. Oh, jeez. But then you have to know how, how full to, to do, to make it. To fill it in there. Uh, yeah. You can overfill it. And, uh, uh, geez. All that kind of stuff. Mess up that. And if it gets component. too low, then it'll suck air in there. And now you really need a shot. Oh, man. Yeah. Definitely make sure you got a professional looking at it. Yeah. So, you, you know, your batteries. Battery. Best and replace them. RV batteries is needed. You yeah. ensure reliable power supply for the vehicle and onboard systems. Yes. The biggest cause of difficulties is low power Mm -hmm. most of the uh the rv appliances and and almost everything in the coach are designed to run off a 12 volt but they're designed to run off of a lot of 12 volt not like a 10 10 volts you have to have at least like 11.4 yeah or things like your entry steps the power steps they they act up on you they or get stuck in or out or whatever yeah your your appliances won't stay lit right i mean it's just a a whole lot lot of of stuff yeah you know always check the batteries yep always check them and uh uh, can you put your tongue on them to check it i don't think you can sir (laughs) unless you have a really large tongue don't check it with your tongue there's too many amps in them batteries folks you ever heard of 500 something cranking amps yeah you don't want that in your uh tongue but more hand. than a nine volt. <laughs> <laughs> Even those get your fillings. You know what I'm saying, people? You hate that. You ever right. that? Yeah, as a kid. Oh, oh, yeah. you know, see, I got, I got, oh, there we go. Go ahead. Take some propane. All right. So the propane system. Yeah. You definitely want to inspect your propane tanks, lines, and regulators for leaks or damage, and refill, replace tanks as needed. Absolutely. That's well, another- uh, A lot of people don't think about them rusting. Oh, yeah. rust. Yeah, yeah. You know, and if they get pitted- they're unsafe. Yeah. And uh, the dry rod, I was going to say, but the, on the- On the hoses. The hoses. Yeah, that's a big one, too, is the dry rod. Sometimes yeah. the squirrels, they'll get on there and eat them hoses. Oh, there you go. Or good. the rats. Yeah. Making a nest. Not good. Not good Not at all. good at all, but they do. Yeah. How about the uh, the generator? The generator? I always say to, to perform maintenance on that, too. Check that oil in the generator. Always. Uh, and yeah. uh, make sure you keep it oil changed for the recommendation of that generator. Most of them do a uh, 30 oil, days. They have oil filters. Yeah. You know, and uh, also start it yeah. monthly. That's what I was going to say. At least 30 days monthly. Start up. And let it run through, you know, run an hour or so. Yeah. Yeah. That's what the recommendation usually Absolutely. is. Absolutely. Yeah, I mean, There's any more. In the old days, you used to be able to clean out your uh, 
your carburetor and stuff, but anymore, they're made in Ch- China, so they, it's just replaced. There's no repair anymore. Yeah, yeah, it's just so replaced. Replace the carburetor, and those are several hundred. Yeah, keep up on the maintenance. That's a big one. Oh, you can get this. Oh, roof. The word caulking. Roof seals and caulking. <laughs> Check and reseal roof seams and caulking regularly to prevent water leaks and damage. That one is a uh, absolute must. That is a must. Now, to pull from Saturday Night Live, mm-hmm. if you have a black roof, you have to get black caulk. This is today. Put that true. everywhere. Put that everywhere. It, 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 actually, uh, make sure that the, the, the caulking that you purchase uh-huh. is made for the cu- type of roof you have. Bam. That's a big so, one. Yeah. So the, uh, the rubber roof takes different caulking than the, 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 uh, the plasticized kind of roof. Gotcha. Which okay. takes different caulking than the fiberglass roof, which takes different caulking than the aluminum roof. Right. Yeah. And that's something really in our South, uh, the Florida area that it yeah. should just be, we get a lot of rain. So that's something that's you should be very the, on top the, of. The sun just bakes on, it, on yeah. everything up there on the roof. So again, uh, visit any one of our three locations. Where are they? Winter Garden, Ormond Beach, and Palm Bay. Yeah, all in the Central Florida area. That's and right. we'll get you, make sure you have the right caulking for the right job. Yeah, that's a big mm-hmm. one. Yeah, man. But uh, the, uh, the, sh- the slide out mechanism. Slide out mechanism. Make sure you lubricate it with the proper lubricant. That's right. You know, uh, the mechanisms, because uh, they, uh, they can start getting hung up. Yeah. They can get dirty and, and get sand in them and stuff and, and cause damage. Yeah. Those are the biggest they say to keep an eye out on, right? Right. Making sure the pine cones up top. We've talked about many a times. Yep. And make sure the uh, you look for any signs of wear or damage, including the rubber seal. Yeah. You know, which uh, some of those, if you treat them, the rubber with seals with the wrong stuff, they get tacky. Uh, and then when you put it out, you'll hear smack, and it basically just rips them. Just pulls it out. It's oh, bad. Geez. And that's, they're expensive as as get all get out. Now is is it the is that why they have you stored with them out because of the the piping in that that's around? Uh the when you store it, they don't want them out. They do want to push they want in. them pushed in. Oh because well. uh you don't want to have all that all the time exposed. Oh yeah. I always see people storing them make, with the they do make that. specific uh, uh stuff to put on them so they do not stick and dry out. Oh and dry out. That's what I figured. Yeah. All right. Fantastic. Yeah. Plumbing? The plumbing system. Always check for leaks, inspect pipes and fittings, and flush the water system regularly to prevent clogs and maintain water quality. I've talked to it before, too, and a lot oh. of people like to put some uh, some ice down in the uh, the sink and down in right. the toilet and all that. Tate it up. Just, just flush them on down there so that, that ice will be uh, working as you're driving down to uh, to clean out that tank. Yeah, yeah, that's a good one. I like and that. And your electrical system. Make sure that you test in the... Uh, Replace any fuses, inspect the wiring to make sure you know none of them critters ate it up. That's know? right. And uh, all electrical components are functioning properly to avoid any major power issues. Man. And I always say to include the uh, the the umbilical cord. It goes from the coach to the plug at the campsite. Right. Uh, sometimes some of those uh, plugs at campsites are pretty worn. Okay. And they'll start uh, arcing because they're not making real good contact. And they'll actually maybe melt some of the... Uh, some of the rubber or whatever. Oh, geez. So you have to inspect for that. Too. Okay. Yeah, especially if you're using those little cheap uh, converters or whatever adapters to yeah. put into your house to just to keep the refrigerator on or something like right, that. Right, right. They can get overheating too and uh, just melt out. Start melting out. Oh, it'll become geez. a problem. We'll be back after a short, short message. At Giant Recreation World, you can buy them, rent them, trade them, or get them service and repairs. Check out the RV lifestyle, freedom to travel when and where you want to go. What are you waiting for? April is time to take advantage of new inventory to choose from, plus new sale prices and markdowns. All units made in America for America. Plus, at Giant Recreation World, you get the warranty forever. Get in on it. There's a location near you in Winter Garden, Palm Bay, or Destination Daytona. Check them out online anytime at GiantRecreationWorld.com. We're changing it up, ladies and gentlemen. Yes, sir. This is uh, segment number two, RV Hour. Episode number 64. It is episode 64. And let me tell you something. We are in the beautiful, brand new product by Coachman. Woo! It's the Euro 25 EU. Yes. If you recall, on a couple of episodes ago, we uh, had Bo Miller. Bo Miller was the rep for, for this product. And he was talking about how European and 
and beautiful and sexy it is. Look at it this. It's a beautiful coach. This is a beautiful, beautiful coach. And it's unlike the European coaches, it's full of options. That's right. Like we Americans like. We should go through some of those options. Why don't, why don't you give us a start there? All right. So the oh, the Euro 25 EU is on an F53 Ford chassis. Yep. It's got a 50-inch wheel cut. And it's got gel coat Noble Select sidewalls. Which we'll kind of do a little walk around after this podcast. Oh, yeah. yeah. Some of those features and the benefit of having it. I would agree. And uh, what's important about that F53 chassis is that's a Class A chassis. Not a not a Class C chassis without the van on the front. That's the difference. Some of the competitors do that. Yeah. Now, the benefit to that is in this, it's heavier. It's 16,000 GBWR. Okay. And uh, it's got 19 and a half inch wheels with aluminum. Alloy rims out. Uh, aluminum aluminum rims. rims. Yeah. Not just hubcaps. Not hubcaps. But uh, that means it's uh, it's got a, a stiffer ride, but it's more solid. That's so it. the the wind doesn't blow it all around. And it's uh, a little thinner, a little uh, not as tall. But uh, uh, if you can see this in the camera. Still got plenty of headroom in here. Plenty Look room. at this cool lighting that we got. You Woo. know, I feel like I'm at the disco. Uh, <laughs> now, I remember some of the sales reps also at the last show we had, we had brought this unit out there to the Orlando RV show. Some of the reps that had brought the delivery said it drives beautiful compared to some of the others. A lot more stability, a lot more action for you. Absolutely. So it's uh, 11 feet, one inches tall, including the air conditioner. Oh, all right. So uh, that's pretty cool. It's only 99 inch wide. Yeah. Real like length, 27 feet, 9 inch. Full body paint? Full body paint means you can't feel the stripes. The stripes. We've talked about that yeah. many a times. And it's a six time clear, clear coat. Yeah. Six times clear coat. Yeah, man. That's, that's if impressive. you don't know what that means is every time they do one coat, they they wet sand it and do another coat and wet sand it. Oh, wow. Another. It's six fun. Times six that. times. Okay. That's so you can't feel those stripes. Very thick coating. Yeah, yeah. And uh, the interior or ceiling heights is uh, eighty inches, which I just showed you. Okay. And uh, it's got a seven inch lower floor than most of its uh, competitors. So oh, you know, so it's lower to the ground, which means it's not as hop heavy. Doesn't have a whole lot of swing around because it yeah. has a wide wheelbase. See, That's folks, it. there's all kinds of reasons why you want to at least test drive this coach. If you're considering a small class A. Oh, yeah. It uh, it will not secure you wrong. All right. So let me give you some more of these features here. One piece fiberglass roof. A 50 amp service. Two 13,000 BTU ACs. <laughs> induction cooktop and a convection microwave. Wow. We talked about that in the last episode. Sort of. Convection microwave. Oh, yeah. Yeah, and and darn it if it don't don't have a popcorn button on that's it. never a popcorn button. You know what that you know what I mean? Doesn't that doesn't that grind your ears? <laughs> I put a potato in there, I push popcorn. Well, guess what? After it's done, it's a potato. Still a potato. <laughs> so, well, sorry. Now we also have a twelve volt refrigerator, which is a beautiful, nice sized refrigerator, and a uh, tankless water heater. Oh, I'm ready. You know, this is like. This is like home right here. Oh, Hines, look at that refrigerator, freezer. Look at that bars. But they're they're taped in there because it's brand new, never been used. Woo! This is a beautiful coach. Uh the the uh, the cabinetry is all. I mean, it's all aerodynamic and cool. Look at that. Take us through. Look, look at, at that. that. Oh, that's some fancy right there. So if if you if you do recycling, you got two. Two. And then you have this. You know, if you, if you want to go out and do the wash. <laughs> oh yeah, I love that. But look at that. Unbelievable. That That's pretty impressive. Beautiful. So, solid countertops, Counter yeah. light with uh, with cool light uh, enhancements all over it. Induction ra uh, range. This is a rarity that you usually don't see, but yeah. it's a really awesome high end feel. You a kid, you know. Plenty. What else you got for us? Well, this is a real tile uh, slash. Whatever. Oh, the back, 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 back floor. Yeah, back yes, where? You know, down in the closet. Got a, a bathroom that you can actually use. See that, folks? Look how pretty and, and finished it is. Yeah, yeah. And even the bed, you can get around it easy. So it, so making it and getting up and stuff is not that big of a deal. Nice, 
even has places to put a, a, a alarm clock or or it's got power plugs too. So you have you have a CPAP machine you can plug them in. You know. Yeah, man, that works out well. You're darn right, it does. So, uh, so is that king size bed you got to? That is a king size oh, bed, man. and it's got a TV on the wall. TV on the wall. It's got uh like built in day night shades. Oh yeah. You know, so so they don't be flopping when you're going down the road. Very, very, very quiet. So in the 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 lights and the all air motion sensor, that's pretty impressive, right? Well, you know what else I'd enjoy? What you got there? Whoa. Dishwasher, that dishwasher. You know, when you can't, but you don't want to do no dishes. Nobody wants to do it. So you know, put them in the dishwasher, folks. Did I tell you that closet space here's some more, more closet space? Yeah, and on the outside, you've got a three hundred watt solar panel. And they are and they are all soft touch clothes too. See, so they well look at that. Uh, I like these too. This look, this look, so, that, huh? that locks them actually. Oh, that's a look. It, it locks them. Woo! I like yeah. it. It's a a lot of uh, thought went into it. Oh yeah, and and uh, you know, like you said, uh, the uh, the big screen up there on the dash yeah, is almost a, like a complete tablet, full computer. Screen. And look, you're Larry. There he is in the clinch on cook off. They're fantastic. Uh, it's, it's a perfect coach if you have a couple, or if you have a small kid or two. I think this makes a bad. Yeah. But look underneath those chairs. You got storage. Yep. Storage here. Yeah. I mean, yeah. Uh, we're utilizing all the coach. This is this is some special. And the, the TV's out of the way real well. Yeah. I mean, up top storage, two air conditioner. Well, two thirteen five air conditioners in this small unit, it will freeze you right out of here. I guarantee. Kid. And it's got a uh, eight thousand pound tow hitch rig. There you go. So you can you actually tow a little car or, or a trailer. Get you some golf out. cart. Yeah, get you a golf cart. Boat. You know, you know, if you want a boat, you can go boat. Yeah, man. Let's let's go outside real quick. Yeah, let's go check the ramp. Come on, come on. Come on. So uh, this is a, a new form of a podcast episode that we're doing. More interactive, you know. So everybody can let us know if you like it or not. That's right. Yeah. I believe the TV can be put in here, too. Oh, yeah. So uh, you take it from inside there, and you move it out here, and it's kind of lost to outside, and you got the plugs and everything for it, to outside storage. But here's what I'm talking about with that paint. Ooh. Lit. And some more awesome lighting on the awning. That's a box-style awning. So you, I think you uh, you push a button, and it comes out right out of the box. It's pretty cool. You know? Boom. Power step, you got to have that. Yeah, maybe. Yeah. So, and and the magnetic compartment door holders. It's uh, it comes standard with a uh, uh, twelve hundred watt inverter, which actually powers the refrigerator, and it also has a three hundred watt solar panel. So uh, you got that going for you. Yeah, man. It's got the it's got the pet uh, that window, the pet window for your little doggies can sit right there on underneath you when you're in the. Passenger seat. Oh, you yeah. see outside. Technically, it's so the driver can see if there's any car or motorcycle right here. It's right side. Yeah, yeah man. And the door be it. You know, if you can get around and get a, a nice view, see this, the, uh, the, it's a yay. really spacey looking and very, very well breaking the, real break the wind very nice. Aerodynamic. Yeah, yes, sir. And it's just solid. Solid. Oh, it is very nice to eat. That's all right. Those there. I like these for sake of the mighty outdoors compartment. Why? Because it's got the batteries. It comes standard with two six volt batteries. And there's a special option if you wanted to do more boondocking. There you go. Yeah. What's in here, buddy? Huh? 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 That's the OP tank, 20 gallon, which which is great, being that he, uh, the, the, uh, the, now, the only thing really that runs off of it is your, Tankless water heater, and if you run the fur. Okay. Oh, that does great. So yeah, it'll, it'll last so long. Yeah. And uh, what are we here, huh? We've got some uh, big on and 5,500. And it'll run both airs and everything in the coach all at the same time. That's a nice turn. So, you know, you don't have to worry about your you or your wife using the hair dryer in the back, yes. knocking out one of your refrigerators <laughs> or your air conditioning. Knock you right out. Right. All kinds of hookups and stuff. You know, if you buy one of these, we'll do a complete walkthrough with you and show you how everything works 
and dadded work. This, I really like the frameless square uh, windows too. They look very finished and they open just fine. So you can leave them open while you get wet inside. Keeps it very And even these side windows open so you can have cross ventilation when you flip it. Beautiful. There you go. You already talked about that outside uh, hitch. Oh, yeah. 8,000 pound. 8,000 pounds. 8,000 pounds. Yeah. Yeah, man. And all, as always, jaggerrecreationworld.com if you want to do any more shopping. Oh, yeah. We've got it all for you. All right. So I think we should, uh, we're going to wrap up. We'll go on to our next unit and show you guys what else we got here. Well, fantastic. You know, I'm talking about that one, that one, uh, long term option, though. What you got? Well, it's a, it's a, it, it, you can have them test them that. Uh, oh, yeah. Here. Double the size and the inverter. Double the size of the uh, the controller and all that. Oh, so oh, we got big, triple the size of the uh, the solar panels. solar panels. So yeah, you can run off real long time with that. It's yeah. very cute. Right, big bone dot. All right, let's on to the next. Giant Specialty Vehicles is Winter Garden's number one golf cart dealership. Choose from multiple brands to match your budget, including advanced EV golf carts starting at just $79.99. Or check out the Mad Jacks or Atlas. Escape the heat in their air-conditioned showroom and try before you buy. And rent a golf cart for your next adventure. Need repairs? If you're local, it's only $20 to have your cart picked up and brought in for service. Or if you're a do-it-yourselfer, explore their parts and accessories store. Giant Specialty Vehicles. Find out more at GiantSpecialtyVehicles.com. All right, folks. So far, we're having a ball. Well, yeah, yeah. We have some growing veins. Try it. Well, then we have to figure out. Yeah, trying something new. Wayne and I are trying something new. We're sitting in the middle of the showroom. Here we are. And and everybody ran. They saw the camera, so they ran. They're all afraid. Blade head of obscure. But uh, all I can say is we were giving you a kind of a quick walkthrough of the, the Euro. Yes. Then we were here at this beautiful RV suite. Yeah, the Ibex. The Ibex. And I uh, starting to do a little quick feature benefit but uh we ran out of time but i would have to say if you want a good one come in and see any of our sales professionals because they do much better job than i at the uh, product now oh yeah oh yeah they, they know how to use that power pro way better than i do think they go in pretty in depth to the stuff yeah, oh yeah i'm just winging it just like i do with these podcasts right yeah. but uh back uh we're we're in front of this because it is the first unit of our our art tones quarter hey. So uh, even though it's a brand new product, 2024, the uh, RB Suite 1, this one in, is in Winter Garden. Yes. It's uh, got an MSRP of 65585 and our sale price is 44699 That's an over 20000 off. That's a great yeah. deal. And it's a factory fresh, beautiful coach. It's really 32 foot long. So uh, you can even get this. Imagine this in the state park, you know? Yeah. You can even get this in the state park. This is a beautiful, beautiful home. It, like I said, it has a, uh, uh, in the, in the back area, it's got a queen or king bed that's a actual thoughts out of the wall. Yeah. So you, you can utilize it also as a place to eat and yeah, relax. That's, I think, the biggest too. Yeah. Oh, it has that, uh, it has that luxury lounge room that has the pull out to make it an L shape. Yeah. So, uh, you know, you can accommodate more than it's made for two people. That's right. Yeah. So it's got good storage for it and yeah. all kinds of awesome extremities and it's got a huge big front uh bathroom yeah oh sure the bathroom i like the sliding glass doors it's very nice very it's a residential feel that's what it is yeah and then you get the retro looking refrigerator in there and it's just cool <laughs> it's it it's a lot as cool as a unit you could get i think in fact you me yeah. so uh the uh the the dry weight on it is uh uh, 7,380 pounds. Oh, so you can pull up with a one, a half ton. No problem. Yeah. Uh, you can load it full of stuff, uh, 2,200 pounds of stuff because it's got a gross, uh, vehicle weight rating of 9,590. Nice. So I mean, it's got pretty big, big, uh, axles and it also has some nice off road looking tires. Yeah. Too. It's diesel. Maybe tires. Yeah. It's a lot of boom dock and made for boom dock. You're exactly right. 90 gallons of fresh water. To you know, so you can you can do a lot of boot docking. Oh, yeah. So, uh, and this guy has the uh, the power, the whole pro. Well, we de we demonstrated that for a little 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 so demonstrate some shit. But you know, it's got some uh, some features and stuff. So, uh, oh yeah. So it's got the uh, uh, Adzel exterior. Okay. Which so is that's that's that that means it's you can't uh, astrocode. Yeah, it doesn't. It can't. It's impermeable to water. 
There. That it's not wood. Because isn't it has coating on both sides? On the yes, outside? The outside yeah, that's what makes it. It's got the PVC roof membrane. That's the big one. Yeah, so it's, uh, it's stronger than the rubber roof. So the when men's and stuff are not apt to rip it. But it also has the same warranty, like 15 years. They'll say, send you a new membrane if, if you bust it. Oh, if something happens to you. Yeah. That's big. Yeah. Because those pine cones. We always talk about the pine cones. Come got a, it. It's got a fully enclosed underbelly. Gel coat fiberglass exterior. Dang it. And you can tell that because you can't see the little hairs in it, yeah. like some of the cheap ones. Yeah. 50 amp service I talked about, the power awning, aluminum wheels, all terrain tires, upgraded sidewall insulation. So, uh, it's, uh, multi zone heating. Oh, yeah. Wow. Luxury lavatory. Feature I did tell you, it's in the front. Yeah. Uh, shower column with, uh, jet spray. Well, so it has uh it has multiple spray heads in the you know it's it's uh if you're bougie this yeah. is for you try to get that shampoo out sometimes yeah. it's got a king suite with remote work area and yeah. uh and and basic flex space so you could you know put stuff in there into very little we could actually do a whole podcast in there if we were thinking you're probably good but yeah, they has got enough space for it. central vac well oh, yeah how's that that's one of my favorites uh pl- premium bluetooth audio Dimmable sunset lighting, which uh, is very cool yeah. on on all sides. Induction cooktop, solid surface countertops, uh, washer dryer combo, uh, niche uh, uh, kitchen. Oh, up uh, artificial intelligence, which we showed off. Oh yes, large fresh work basket. I told you ninety gallon. Ninety gallon. Yeah, that's a lot of all terrain tires. Yeah, uh, the uh, tinted frameless square windows. Very luxurious. Uh, that's a uh, high class right there. Boy. All aluminum frame construction, upgraded sidewall insulation. I said, multi zone heat. I said, yay! Just so much. It just goes on. There is. There's so, a lot. Make sure you come and visit us at Giant Recreation World to see this product and many more. We have it on sale for over twenty thousand. There it is. What's next? We've got the twenty twenty three Coachman Encore three fifty five DS. Oh, it's one of our twenty twenty three products that we're blowing oh, yeah. out. We got a huge blowout sale going on right now. Come check it out. Yeah, this coach has a two hundred fifty two thousand MSRP. Yes, sir, and change. It's on sale for one forty nine seven seventy seven. Whoa, that's a thirty six foot Class A motorhome with a, a full wall slide on one side and a double slide on the other. Yeah, these are nice. Oh, I like this. So uh, this is a great floor plan. One of my favorites. Yep, that's what I was going to say. It's great yeah. floor plan. It's the, yeah. it's on sale for one forty nine seven, and it's that's over a hundred and two thousand off MSR. Look at that, man. That's a great deal. Well, there it has. It sleeps eight with four different beds. And you got the king bed in the back. Yeah, it's got that Triton seven point three liter V eight Godzilla. Godzilla. And, you know, we talked about that. Check the last episode. It's the F fifty three chassis. Yep. With the big Nike and a half inch wheel yes. and aluminum board tires. Yep. Uh, it's got a, a king bed with the, uh, with a storage system built in. So it has storage underneath. Underneath it there. Yeah. Uh, and they're able to do that because that bed does not slide because the wall, the full wall across from it slides out. Oh, okay. So, uh, so then it doesn't even have to fold up. It doesn't have to fold up or any. And it's got the CPAP station. It does. Those are always big. It is. It's a, uh, it's got a, a side bath. It's got a really huge residential refrigerator. Yeah. Uh, it's got a sofa, Fox. bed that makes a bed, a dinette that makes a bed. It's got the uh, optional power theater seating, which it has. And oh, uh, then the, the, the bed that comes out of the ceiling over the pass and front of the top driver's seats. Man, that's got a lot of sleeping area. It's a, it's a beautiful coach. It won't last long at that price. No, not at that price. I'm going to talk about the, the 2023 Creme de la Creme. What you got there? It's the the uh, Holiday Rambler Armada Yay. 44B. It's a tag axle with okay. the ultra steer, which means tag axle steer. Oh, that is a real diesel pusher. Real diesel pushing, sir. Like the. It's got the 450 horsepower Cummins 6.7 liter turbo diesel engine. Goodness gracious. That's a. With uh, 450 horsepower, 1,250 pounds of torque. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, got the Alice of three speeds, three thousand six speed transmission. But, but that you can adjust each speed if you want. Whether you're uh, whether you're getting ready to go uphill a lot, no, okay. can you set that out after your ratio? Yeah, that's or oh wow, that add with the touch of a button. Yeah, it's very cool. That is a sixty degree wheel. That well, laughing oh, at the euro, euro. Oh, 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 get away at fifty. Three hundred nine inch wheelbase. Did I say it has twenty two and a half inch tires? Wow, it's on the freight. 
Freightliner XCM chassis Titan Bridge. That's a big Titan Bridge. It's worth seeing. And it is the highest product that we have to offer at two of our three locations. That's right. And uh, the, the uh, Paul Bay store has the Allegro bus, bus, which I think is just a hair. The higher. Yeah. Right. The devil. Yeah. Up. The MSRP on this is $627,000. What do you got on sale for? $384,774. Oh, look. Couldn't, you can't touch an Allegro bus. Much that. Yeah. Well, that's uh, $243,000 off MSRP. Yeah. That's a little but bit. You get away, you get. Where do you get away again. Where can you see it? Paul Bay. Any one of our three locations, actually. Oh, and it's even giantregreasionworld.com. That's where you go. And you can pick out the one th- and, and go visit it in person and get a good demo. Get a yeah. get the best truck. Get a you know what I'll say? Feel the wheel, seal the deal. I know what I'll say. That's right, yes, sir. Then you get all the questions answered you need. It's got quad slides. That's four slide outs. Four slides. And uh, not all, any of them are small. They're all large slide outs. One slide out has a sofa and the dinette in it. The other slide out has the whole kitchen and, a, and another sofa. So it's got opposing sofas. They know a luxury. In the, the the bedroom area, you, you've got your king bed that goes out of one slide, and then it's got your your kitchen sink, and uh, which is kind of a unique thing. Yeah, where, yep. where some of the kitchen slides out, or the uh, the bathroom, half of the bathroom slides out. Oh, wow. so that's pretty cool. That is, but uh, it makes for a really non awkward. air. So when you walk by the bed to get into the bathroom, it's huge. Yeah, just nice huge. walk-in area. It's uh, yeah, but. Yeah, it's a uh, bath and a half floor plan, so it's it's a perfect coach. I Man, think. that is incredible. How dangerous cool is it? Full, of, full of luxury. Yeah. So if you like getting ready and go out, this is a, this is a yeah. Well, you it. know what? I'm gonna let you talk about the Freelander. Here we go, Coachman 2023, Coachman Freelander 29 KB. Yeah. All right, we've got this listed as 146.530. It's on sale right now for 89 guy 90 Get out of town. Yeah. It's over $56,000 in savings. Yeah, well, it's all the F450 Class C chassis. Okay. Cutaway van. That's right. Talked about that before. That we have. It has the, uh, uh, it's got a king bed in the bedroom slide. Yep. And it's got a, a, um, a, it's a double slide coat. Double slide, by the way. Yep. And it's got the sofa in the other slide with the refrigerator. It looks so like the refrigerator goes out. I like the bulk bed. The overhead bunk ran perfect if you have kids. You know, when I, was, when I was a little kid, that's where we used to ride. Really? I'm top of it. safely <laughs> looking out the front window if it had one. That's when we were little kids. That's a good one. Now, yeah. they've changed things around, yeah. so you're not allowed to. I shouldn't be up to that anymore. I wouldn't say that. But, uh, well, back across, then it was good. Across from that sofa and, and refrigerator that's in the slide is another J Lounge. Oh, oh, look at that. It also makes a bed. So you got four beds. Oh, wow, man. Yeah. So that's usually the breakfast, but the whole rear wall or three quarters of it is this closet. Oh, well, okay. And uh, then you have your uh, corner bath, and it's not a wet bath. Plenty of room for you to do all your bed. Yeah, man. And then you can close it off uh, from the uh, living area, the whole bedroom area. So you can close use that door up, get your privacy. Yeah, all the privacy you need, especially all the room. Either. But it's got a pantry. It's got a linen closet. You know, yeah, that's a walk-in cool. shower. It's a great floor plan. I recommend it highly. It's one of our rental units. That's right. It's such a good floor plan. You can try before you drop. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I like that it has the outside entertainment et cetera. Yeah, that's fun. Makes that's it good. So like when you make a breakfast in the morning, everybody's outside. How are you supposed to to watch the game and have a shrimp on the bob? That's right. I can't watch the grill in the game unless you got a TV. Out. I want to do one more twenty-three. Don't mind it. Not at all. How about the, the Riverstone Reserve? 3850 Rear Kitchen. That's a nice one. We have this coach at our Winter Garden store, MSRB 1577, on sale for under 100, 98444. There's a 59,000 off MSRB. Okay. Now, this uh, Riverstone has got three huge slides. It's got a bed, king bed slide. It's got a sofa slide with the easy sofa bed. And then across, it's got the dinette uh, sitting area and desk. That all yeah. goes inside. It's got a it's nice a, work area. Oh, it's a rear kitchen. So the whole rear of it is a kitchen. Oh, wow. Look at that. So if, if you want to more make kitchen, you can. It's kind of got three set, three or four oh, different wow. rooms, basically. Yeah. Then you in the middle, you have a nice lounge area. In the And then you step up, and the bathroom is huge. It's called the side aisle bath. And then yeah. uh, then you have the bedroom up front. It's a like great side aisle. It, and uh, Riverstone is our highest end fit wheel we offer. Oh, and it's, yeah, these are nice. It's uh, made in the Cedar Creek plane, by the way. Oh, okay. So see those little tidbits on you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
Yeah. That's good information to know. Sure. That it is. Hey, you take the same. Sure. That's a great deal, too. Yeah. So, which, did you give the price available? I think I did, oh, yes. Right. Yes, I did. I was, I was focused. It's just under a hundred, remember? Under a hundred, that's it. It's unreal. Wait, so I got one more 23. Here we go. Yeah. The Forest Saver 350BH. That yeah. is an Ormond V. Okay. We're going to start with the price first here. We got it. It's listed as 102023. We've got it on sale right now for 59997 How many slides they got? That is four, one, two, three, four slides. Four slide outs. Lot slide outs. Look at that. It's This is a family plan. Yeah. I like this fifth wheel. This is a nice unit. Here. It's a family plan. And it's a uh, 40 foot long, sleek six. It sleeps more than that, I got to tell you. Yeah. So in the back, in the very back, it's, it's our, our website's wrong. Oh, okay. Gotcha. Gotcha. So in the, in the very back, you have two double bucks. And then you have across from that is a trifold sofa that also makes a bit. So you count that. Mm-hmm. There's three people there, That's right? Three. Yeah. Then you got the theater seating in the middle. Okay. That's next cool. to it, next, next to a, a, a dinette booth that also makes a bed. Yeah. You All right. In the very front, you got a king bed. Right, There's a couple more five, people. Amen. So five, say six. Yeah. At least. At maybe least. a third. Maybe seven. <laughs> but, uh, it's got an island kitchen. It's got a ceiling fan. Uh, it's a bath and a half product. So that's really cool. So the uh, kids room have their own toilet. And then, oh, yeah. Then, uh, Mom and dad have their private, they get their own private laboratory. Uh, that's right. But depending on how you party, could call that another bedroom, sleep in the shop. Yeah, right. Get the shower more. <laughs> yeah. But, uh, there's so oh, many things to talk about on that photo. I can't even explain them. One of the things about this fifth wheel is that it has the overhead fan. That's right. Hey, keeping you cool during the day, like that little circulation there really helps. We Floridians have grown up on season fan seal or even the uh, the oscillating fans, you know. Yep. We need the noise to fall asleep anymore. Almost. Yep. You know, get a little mox fan. Yeah. <laughs> or, or bring that ocean wave thing, you know. No, but yeah, it's bigger. The sound I'll be up. Yeah, that's a really good call out. Yeah. We've done very well with that's a neighbor product. It's uh it's a middle middle entry level coach. Okay. But it's Jam packed full of everything you would expect in the high end place. Yeah, all- that's why customers like it. Luxury and the fact that it's uh the 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 price point it is in the fifties. Okay, to get, we're selling it in the fifties, so that's crazy. Man, this is a this is a a, a forty foot fifth wheel with th- five four slides. Four that's under sixty five though. Well, fridge under sixty thousand. It's all for you guys. And you don't need a super super huge truck. It only weighs. Around twelve thousand pounds dry. Oh, well, so a three quarter ton will pull all that pretty easily, mm, very easy. There you go. Yeah. Three quarter ton diesel or whatever, whatever you, uh, whatever you want is perfect for it. So uh, we're curious if you have any feedback, you let her, let us know. Let us know if you like the new format, I like the full format. Yeah, look at I'm taking the show a little bit on the road. That's right. Well, we're gonna try. It. That's why this is kind of the test. See how the road. It's a test. I'm not going to test for it. You know, that, that, uh, we have to figure out the timer. The timer is a big deal. Uh, we, uh, but we'll get, we'll get through it. We'll get through it. We'll get through, you know, and you can see, you know, we're having a, we're having a ball. I feel like I'm having a laugh. Yeah. I feel like I'm camp out right now. All right. Close this out. Three locations, Minna Garden, Palm Bay, Orange Beach. Signing out. We'll see you later. Shop at GiantRecreationWorld.com or visit their three locations. The only RV dealer in Central and North Florida with a nationwide RV warranty forever. GiantRecreationWorld.com